Hello everybody, Grizzly Pig here. Welcome to today's episode where we will be doing the boss Terror Claw the Ogre. So straight into it, abilities wise you want to run yourself a shield. I prefer Ward of the Damned because we're going to be soaking a particular ability of his with this where we can. For my dodge I like to use the, the one in Chaos because it lets us dodge twice and we're going to be at range and it's very handy, you'll see why. Also I'm using Ball Lightning too. That's a flex spot, but the good thing with ball lightning is it goes through walls. Uh, you can throw it over the top of things and it lands uh, really nice as well. You'll see also why that is. Ultimate, not particularly important which ultimate you take as long as it is a damage deal in one heart strike. Again, would be very good for clutch healing if you need it. So the boss here, as you can see, is going to uh, put these icebergs on the floor, avoid them when they come down very easy to do that because they will do damage to you other than that they sit there for the most part um, another ability he uses a lot he'll jump on top of you and do his ultimate basically so get ready to avoid that he does uh, a couple of these abilities there you see the ice spikes that go on the floor if you are using a ranged weapon like I am and ranged abilities which I really recommend you do you can just sit between them and you don't really have to run that far because they have like blind spots basically and then every now and then what he will do he's he will just look in a run in a random direction and he will run towards an iceberg he will pick it up and he will throw it at you and you can either dodge it or I recommend you use your shield ward of the damned is great because we're so low in this it will summon a a zombie and then you can uh, get some respite there while he attacks the zombie and you can reposition yourself and get some hits in or whatever another attack you've seen him do as well here is his ice breath so he will basically um, breathe in and then breathe out this ice breath and if you stand behind the icebergs it cannot hit you so you can see there he is using it and behind the icebergs we are safe but if you are not behind the icebergs he will knock you backwards and he will do damage to you so it's best avoided if you can a very simple boss you can do him at lower levels but he hits quite hard so i recommend you don't come here too low and he's also a easy boss if you're doing it with your clan mates to just swap out as well and i I find it's uh, so much easier to, to solo bosses like this personally because you always know he's going to go for you so you don't end up wasting your abilities uh, soaking a move that he's actually using on someone else. So he's a very, very simple boss here. So the name of the game is just keep at range, keep safe, uh, weave your abilities and your attacks in where safe and eventually he will go down. Once you've learn and uh, mastered his abilities he is incredibly easy and there we go got the kill on him very quick and he gives a really nice ultimate ability as well it's great for pvp and he unlocks the the large bags as i said so and we've got ourselves an onyx tier there so a very good run so thank you for watching please like and subscribe subscribe if this was helpful and i will see you guys next time